dysentery. Marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Your marriage must stand by the strength of your love in each other. Now let me ask you that question. Terry, do you take Tess to be your wife? Yes, with all my heart. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. Tess, do you take Terry to be your husband? Yes, with all my heart. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore? I, Terence John Loftus, pledge to be my. I make a promise here before our family and friends to be your faithful, loving husband. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are a loving, caring, and considerate woman. I promise to love you, be faithful only to you, to share all I have with you. I promise to keep our life exciting, adventurous, full of passion and love. I promise to support you in all you do. Triumphs for all this I promise to show each other every day that I know how blessed I am for you in my life. I promise to be, your, to be by your side through all adventures and challenges, knowing we will face them together and conquer them. I promise to support and protect your freedom because although our lives are in, intertwined, your cho choices are still yours and yours alone. I promise to seek a deep understanding of your desires and dreams and try to help you fulfill them. Sorry. And above all these things, I promise that I will love you always and love you through this life and into the next. I, Tess Lynch, take you, Terence John Loftus, to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love, respect and cherish you for who you are. I promise to be with you through sickness, health and sorrow. I promise to love you, be faithful to you, and share everything together. I promise to keep our life exciting and adventurous and full of passion and love. I promise to show you each and every day that I know how lucky and blessed to have you in my life. And above all, I promise to love you with all my heart, body and soul. I give you this ring Wear it with love, as this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you have no end on this earth and thereafter. Now the wedding ring is, is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end, no giver and no receiver, for each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken and the love that is between you and surrounds you today. With this ring, I take you as my wife. She's every season. With this ring, I take you as my husband.
Tess and Terry, having spoken your vows to each other, sealed your vows with the exchange of ring, it is my honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Every one of you that you know come to make Tess and our wedding an incredibly special day. I'm, you know, I, I can't speak for Tess in this, but my heart's so full of joy, and it, it's almost like a, you know my cup does run it over. And I'm just grateful that you could all be here to share this special day with us. Thank you so much. Can I ask you to charge your glasses and drink a toast to Tess and I. Thank you to the, to the most beautiful woman I've ever met. She's my cousin, okay? <laughs> yeah, but you're from the ugly side of the family. I don't even know how he got in here. Honestly, I don't. I mean, it, no, I didn't. I invited David, and you know. <laughs> but again, thank you. And I'd like to thank Jerry for standing beside me, and you know, as, as my best man. He's an incredibly nice man with a big heart. And I, and I thank you, Jerry. And I'd like also to thank... Oh, yeah. I'd um, just pass this over to Tess. I would like to thank everybody for attending today and being with us to share our very special moment. I appreciate you all being here especially my sons, my beautiful sons, I love them so much, and my brother, and my cousins, and all you wonderful friends. You are so beautiful, and I will tre treasure all of you forever in my heart. We will make this a beautiful night, and thank you all for all your wonderful wishes and your thoughts, and I will say I love you all. Uh, now, I must tell you that Terry is a proper Cockney. And I'll explain these things as I go on. A proper Cockney in London means someone who was born within the, the Bow Bells. Yeah. And, and it's a proper cockhead? Co cockhead. Uh -huh. Sorry, Cockney. Cockney. <laughs> Listen, at, at the age of 12, Terry worked at the street market selling dodgy fruit. Dodgy fruit is what you get out of coals and Safeways and that, and it's bad. So Terry sold that and made a lot of money. <laughs> you had to grow up fast in London, obviously, because he went from just being born to being 12 already. Uh, anyway, the cops came to Terry's mum's house one time and told her that he was there in the divvy van, locked up. 
and that she could come outside the road and they would let her pick him out, take him home. And she, she replied, leave the bastard in there, I'll get him tomorrow. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Terry could nick, mix with the hobnobs and the down and outs. The hobnobs are uh, people with plenty of money. That leaves all of us out. We're, we're the down and outs. <laughs> Uh, and, I, and I often wonder which ones we are. Like, all joking aside, Terry's he's a great mate. He has good company. And if he could help anyone, he really, really would. His heart is in the right place. And I hope you and your beautiful bride, Tess, have a wonderful, happy and healthy life together. Let's all have a toast to Terry and Tess. Cheers, mate. Ladies and gents, I would like to present my maid of honour, Peppy. She would like to make a bit of a speech. Thank you, Peppy. I'm not ready to make any speech because I'm not prepared. Yeah? You hear me? Okay. Do you understand my accent? Yes. I feel me very honored today and very happy to participate in the marriage of Tess and Terry Loftus. So, I'm so happy to meet this beautiful lady 17, 16 years ago and through the years to be like best friend, sister and person who support me in my beautiful days and my darkness. This is amazing person and the only thing what I can say, I wish to Terry and Tess in the future amazing days like this one today between friends and family and just enjoy the life because life is a gift and we should appreciate every day we are on this earth. So I wish everybody of you a lot of happiness and love like you. Those two people here today. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would call upon my cousin, Jackie. So, I don't know what he's going to come out with, but anyway. This is my beloved cousin. He's my only cousin that has come to the wedding. The rest of the family unfortunately couldn't make it. So I will hand you out to Jackie. First, what I want to say, I hate this bitch. <laughs> she hates me. She bought me over here. My, 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 her sickness. <laughs> How could I love her? <laughs> I love you, darling. You, my sister. I, when I met her the first time when my cousin died, her father, and when I saw her, she said, oh my God, she looks like my other niece. Goodness gracious. So she rang me up and told me to find me out. So we're still, since then, we're still always together. Anyway, she's my darling she loves me and i love her too and she's part of my family i love you but i have to say something i don't want to fucking like her i love him Ooh. i'm interested in him <laughs> On behalf of all our guests here, I would love to thank you very much, darling. Whatever you did here, they all came to see you. They all came to participate in the wedding. We love you. That's why we came. We love you. I love you, Terry. Even if the 
skies get rough I'm giving